people know of as two groups of people, introverts and extroverts. This is the traditional way of looking at people. Are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? Have you heard of these two groups? So, introverts are people who are more reserved. They prefer doing things on their own. <laughs> They get energy for themselves by doing things on their own or in small quiet settings, one or two people at a time. But mostly they like doing things on their own. <laughs> group interactions, in a group interaction, they will listen more than they speak. Offering thoughtful and well considered, but khata karana kota, hari vadagat dia kya ni. Hunga kalar khata karan ne, but khata karana kota, it is something, you know, very thoughtful considered something important that they will say. So, it is a good contribution they make. Extroverts are always outgoing. <laughs> if the extrovert is not at the party, party ke gati yak ne. Because ya hiti ama tamai, ya hi pokka ma ministri na ve na ra. So, if you really take, uh, again you go look at our politicians, you take Mahindra Rajapaksa, very much an extrovert. Daniel Vikramasinghe, other side. <laughs> so, extroverts outgoing, thrive in social settings, they get energy from other people, from being around other people. Often enthusiastic and expressive, very expressive. In group interactions, they are the ones who are talking, <laughs> they, are, they are the ones who are joking, cracking the joke, encouraging others to participate and they are, they are always having a lot of energy. So, if you, if you, I am going to ask you a personal thing now. If you look at me, which group do you think I belong to? So, let me ask, just a show of hands. Those who think I am more of an extrovert, those who think I am more of an introvert. So, I am actually more of an introvert. <laughs> Given a choice, I like to just stay in one place and read a book. So, there was a time, there was a time, I was telling you that I was not always able to speak like this. I remember when I was in school, I really wanted to be part of the debating team. So, Kohari, I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and then practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced even more and I managed to get into the team. Inter school debate could never inter house debate. Inter house than school like within the school or houses then, right? Inter house debate. In a debate, how long do you have to speak? Three minutes. Right? So then three minutes. I practice, 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 practice. But I had two, two fears. I had two fears. First fear is when I get up in front of the audience, I might forget what I have to say. First fear. Second fear that I might start stammering. <laughs> what happened? Both my fears came true. I forgot what I had to say, and whatever other podde, I stammered. <laughs> the little I spoke, I was stammering. So that was my first and last debate. <laughs> I, in school, I didn't do any more debating. So, why I am why I'm telling you this is to show you that people can change. <laughs> so, those days even talking for 3 minutes was a challenge. Today, I can talk for 3 days <laughs> without a problem. <laughs> so, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> That's why I am telling you this. Then I joined IFS many years after that and then sometimes I was doing a 10 slide presentation. Not many, not a presentation like this, 5 minute, 10 slides, they were a customer presentation. That also I would practice and practice and practice and practice, go to the customer and now I have forgotten what I have to say, right? <laughs> so that was where it was, but it can be developed, it can be improved. That is why I am able to talk to you today. Now, if I come and tell you, look, Sanjeev never had a problem in communicating, then it is even more difficult for you all to learn because Sanjeev is the person like that. A bit of person like that. So, it becomes more difficult, right? Sanjeev does not have a problem, but we have a problem. I have a problem. But I am telling you, no, I also had a problem. <laughs> but I do not have a problem anymore. Does that make it more likely that I can teach you? How many of you think because I had a problem and I overcame it, I should be able to teach you more? rather than someone who never had a problem trying to teach you. You understand the difference? So, when I went to PIM and started doing my MBA there, we had to start doing group presentations and all that. Somehow, that, be that became the turning point and things, uh, things started to change. But, 
Now, analyzing the past, I, I can try to figure out what actually happened. How did I do this? And that is what we are going to uh, go into today. So, am I more an introvert or extrovert? Definitely, I think more an introvert. But there is another category called ambivert. <laughs> Neither introvert nor extrovert in the middle. Ambiverts are people who can, depending on the situation, become more introvert or depending on the situation, become more extrovert. Extrovert. So, definitely I think I am an ambivert. <laughs> when you take the general population, 10 to 15 percent are introverts. Only 3 to 5 percent are genuine extroverts. 85 percent are ambiverts. 60 to 85, 62 to 85. So, this guy, uh, Adam Grant, a professor at uh, Pennsylvania University, uh, did a research and he measured that ambiverts were about 62 percent. So, we are saying there are other researchers which have shown about 75, 80 percent also. So, between 60 to 80 percent, 85 percent are ambiverts is what the current research is showing. So, ambiverts are who? Traits of both introverts and extroverts. They come you know, right? They adopt their behavior based on the situation, sometimes enjoying social interactions and some other times valuing their own personal time solitude. Group settings, they balance speaking and listening, they connect well with both introverts and extroverts, 80 to 85 percent. How many of you think you are more ambiverts now? <laughs> Changes depending on the situation. So, that also shows then it is the correct percentage. It was about 80 to 90 percent of you raised your, uh, raised your hand as well. So, that is a learning. 